I know it's been a while, but what it do you guys welcome back to the bench we're back baby yes sir all right max get your ass over here let's talk some ball as of right now so pretty tight uh three people race for the mvp you think so I th and i think you can't go wrong with either because uh the official ones i think it goes braun and bead and Jokic. But I think my three picks for MVP, it's LeBron, Embiid, and then KD. Because I know Jokic going off, but I don't think seating wise they're like really high, right? Yeah. No, I think, honestly, I think LeBron should win MVP this season. Yeah, especially the way that AD hasn't played to her, like AD. Yeah. Which Laker team do you like more? Oh, last year's team or this year? Really? Uh, I like this year's more. Yeah, this year's team is. Yeah, kinda, I think it's pretty obvious now. Yeah, this year's team. Yeah, is, but I mean, this year's team. I think pretty Soto. Good. I think Soto thinks uh, that the other one was better. He thinks last year's team was better. No, shot, bro. Uh, it's just they're bigger, like because they had yeah, Howard they, and McGee, but that's yeah. really it. This year's effortless for them, bro. Isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah, it looks like they play and they they lock up teams. I feel like we could score on the Nets. <laughs> chill <laughs> no they're, no their defense is horrible though well so i have the the ladder up here right here and it's a uh, number one on the nba.com uh, mvp ladder they have number one at lebron james okay. averaging 25 7 and 7 uh well 7.7 7 and 7.5 so damn near 20 25 8 and 8 that's which I, at this point i pretty much like we all know that's the lebron style line right like 25 8 and 8 or like 27 8 and 8 like that's yeah, the lebron much. patented style line yeah pretty much he's himself he's just being himself i think it's just that it's been so long that voter fatigue finally wore off so he's allowed to win another mvp yeah um so but then fair. again there's joel and b to the philly philadelphia 76ers Nikola Jokic is actually number three on this mvp ladder yeah, that's what i yeah. uh, and then i guess oh is that the third one you said I would, I would, me personally, I would put KD just because the Nuggets aren't great seating wise. There's nothing to say about the Brooklyn Nets having way too much star power. Maybe K KD is on the rookie, sorry, on the MVP ladder this week, but in the next coming weeks after Harden are there and after Kyrie has a couple more games that are pretty, you know, noteworthy, I feel like KD is definitely going to fall off the face of this ladder. No, I don't think so. But they uh, never give it to someone. Especially the fact that he, he hasn't played in two years. And he's and he's playing this good too like, yeah he's so, so and like he's so efficient this year yeah they never give it to someone like that though yeah like kd or or curry didn't win it when they were together what do you guys think about the mvp race we've got uh lebron we've got Jokic. we've got what do you guys think is the top five in the nba top five in the nba yeah. right now hold yeah. up hold up, hold up. how are you gonna dismiss right, his question like, like it's that. like the same thing as mvp ranking <laughs> Oh, you could you could have said who do you think is the top five in the NBA race? I mean MVP. Number one is LeBron, obviously. No. Yeah. You think LeBron is in first? First for sure. In the first, MVP. Yeah. All right. Well, let's list the options. We got LeBron. We've got Joel Embiid. We've got Nikola Jokic. We've got KD, and I guess we got Kawhi. We had to no, throw a put, fifth uh, in there. No, Curry. Fuck Kawhi. You put Curry in there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah Curry. For, I would put Curry. Curry's really fighting for three or four too. spot between him and Jokic. Curry's number two is KD. Season. He's having in a, my opinion. A season I think number two is MVP season. The unanimous one. You think number two is KD? Number two is KD. Number no. three and four is being fought between Jokic. No. And First off, before Steph, I'd I'd put Giannis. I don't know why Gee. you would put Steph because Giannis Steph is averaging crazy this, this season. Giannis is averaging the same numbers he did last year when he won Defensive Player of the Year, and well, he's been a little bit worse offensively. I don't think he'd ever. I don't think he would be in the race for Defensive Player of the Year, but he definitely is just as good offensively. I don't know why you'd put Steph in there, but not Giannis. That's so funny that man tried to pull up the other day from mid-range again i forgot who was going against but it was the tie game pulled up no he was down two and he pulled up for a mid-range <laughs> the tie the game and send it to overtime and that boy man Simple poor Giannis. Stuff. i wonder if he gets a shot soon enough yeah he uh he's got the confidence with it though yeah. every single time he's getting there he's he confident. way more good. confident than ben simmons yeah it's good that he's doing that but i would uh i think my mvp would be right now either lebron or Jokic. I find me. it crazy that Luca is in this conversation, but his team is just not winning. I mean, yeah, and it looks like it looks like he's playing for himself out there. To be real, a lot of these teams are gonna make a great second half of the season run, like the Mavericks, like the Heat, teams like that. And then uh, obviously, you know, I, I don't know. This year is different. Yeah, they heat like, they're, they're not playing that many games, so that second half, like usually, there's 82 games, and that second half usually starts clicking after what the 40th game. But there's only how many games this season? 72. 72. So well, we're missing 10 games, which and and reality is a significant 
significant amount of games uh when you're trying to call yourself back up but i mean i do see what you're saying i do think that a lot of the teams are going to put it together because of this this first half i guess it was, it was weird it's a weird season it's not how they usually play um yeah. there's all this covid I, uh regulation stuff that yeah the players keeps are already... a lot of players out and exactly I, they're, and then... I, they're starting to realize how serious it is and how serious the league is taking yeah it. and then th like like you said uh it's because of the covid it's the first you know time that they've dealt with something like this and it's gonna be the first you know this was like the first go of how things are you know on the road in the stadium they're starting to bring fans in so the second half of the season i'm pretty sure they're all gonna get used to that you know or at least better accustomed to it how they are now so it, i feel like everybody will be in a better better rhythm and then you know if the players do have covid i'm sure that they'll get healthier by then too and then the team chemistry can build and stuff so um i'm actually looking a lot more forward to the second half of the season than the first just because of all the injuries the covid and just all the protocols i think that's messing a lot of teams up yeah i'm yeah. excited for the second half of the season too you know what's crazy nobody mentioned anybody from the utah jazz even though aren't they the first <coughs> in the west right now yeah, yeah. They're the first in the nobody west. mentioned anybody anything night. about donovan anything about i mean rudy. they've been extremely healthy rudy gobert doesn't get the offensive numbers because they got the covid first <laughs> rudy rudy and donovan got hey, the rudy. COVID last year rudy got that poster yesterday y'all saw that poster on Giannis. yeah I saw yeah that. I saw that. that was nice yeah that is that is true they got them antibodies exactly already. so they're already good to go but it's a surprise to me how they're right there not not like a big surprise but it's a surprise how well they, they played starting the season off but yeah. to be honest with you to answer your question now that i really think about it i would give my mvp to uh either curry or lebron just depending on how no way i'm giving it a curry bro yeah, not if, curry, if, if curry if if, 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 if uh if the warriors are like a fifth seat in the west they're gonna give it to curry i believe but who nah, knows like curry got, got curry to got top three look not look they wouldn't give it to curry for the simple fact that he already has two for doing what he's doing already you're gonna you, you think they're just gonna start treating him like lebron and yeah the james it's, harden it's, effect it's voters fatigue that's the same reason nobody's saying Giannis, even though he's doing exactly what he did last year and Giannis went know. back to and back he's winning to just back. as much i don't know no I he's not going like to because of voters fatigue and i think the only reason we're talking about lebron is because finally it's been long enough where voter fatigue fell off on him yeah because the man is 36 now <laughs> they're like yo how much you're 17 yeah let's start you're 18 my guy what's wrong with you don't disrespect him like that in his greatness that's my goal yo you didn't know my goal was in 18 season i'll put you on the spot i i really hope lebron wins just because you know he didn't win last year i thought he he deserved it last year more than anybody you know who knows and lebron he's low-key like been on his redemption shit ever since last year the like, washed King. King and stuff he's still going on with that he's like i hear everything you know so, yeah he loves it so yeah i think lebron's like finally mentally like so strong he, at this stage of his career that yeah. he like he wants that i think lebron likes being the villain i think it fuels him yeah, yeah. Like, shout out to miami we yeah. did that like, we I made him miami. comfortable in that skin yeah he, he doesn't mind being the villain uh, I boy about to become a millionaire i'm a billionaire <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sure. <laughs> oh man. But um, yeah. I mean, why not? Jo why is Joel and B not in any of your mouths? I I was he I was like, if it's top five voters that are in the MVP uh, race, not voters. I'm sorry, the top five candidates that are in the MVP race. He's in my top five. But. Really? He put over Jokic, <coughs> Curry, AD, and LeBron? He's in my top five. I, I mean, most people do. Order, bro. Most people say he's the Yo, favorite. He's, he's averaging really uh, awesome numbers. The and, and then they're winning too. Bro, the Doc they're Rivers is getting them right. They're just winning. I don't think okay, they're Okay, but they have different. shooters around them this season and stuff. Like, I understand, but his stats are probably the same. They're just winning. Hey, man, I'm just telling you why. So he's, I, the, It's he's, not crazy that people are saying Joel Embiid. The Mbappe. argument for him is that he's been healthy, he's been winning, and he's been balling, and he's a monster. As far as MVP brace goes, I think the general can senses is that it's not decided yet right like, yeah exactly because like, there's a whole half season left so it, it depends who keeps up what they're doing consistently so you guys are saying it's not decided yet so if the league would the league would end today <laughs> the season would end today lebron wouldn't be the mvp probably not I feel like what? a lot of voters i feel like it, a lot of voters would be split on joel and being lebron yeah something <clears> like that kd is going to be off that ladder just because in two weeks kd is going to be off that ladder in two weeks just because they got hard enough mm -hmm. so they're not going to vote for him for that's sure. bullshit no it's true though no it's not if kd is averaging 35 8 and five shooting 50 percent from the field 40 percent from three and 90 percent from free throw line definitely in the conversation but he does that every season yeah. he plays yo he, not 35 but you know the games that he's played this season he's had like he's averaging better like 29, better 30, so numbers than he averaged for his mvp season a it's lot of same, players do though like it's, but it's literally by like a point five points or, or like right a point. he's way older he just got, got back from an achilles injury he shouldn't be doing no these things. i know but i'm not disagreeing with yeah. you soto but the thing is like max said they have james harden now you know like if it was Kyrie and him uh, yes but now that they have three superstars bro in yeah one and team, the fact that he's nah. still doing it with the three superstars he's that efficient that he could get these buckets and these numbers with three kd's superstars the, kd's the best player on the planet like what, offensively what? what kd's the best offensive player on the planet best score in the league okay back to
So like, no matter where he goes, he's that efficient. If you see and his, it's three be. of the best scorers in the league. Right exactly, yeah. bro. Like, but that, I, I have players, the most four the point points. Is, the it's league. too easy. It's too easy. It's, yeah. too, it's the reason they didn't give it to Curry or KD that's, when they were together. Max, I swear that's exactly what I was about to bring up. But yeah. I was just like, I don't know if that would like, you know, register with Soto. <laughs> I was just like, who? Uh, fuck it's the same reason. So they don't, teams don't know who to guard, and that's why they're getting such easy shots. Well, Mar is, one, that, is that not a fact? It is a fact. It's exactly. Thing, like it's the Warriors. Yeah. When Curry tracks that attention, clearly tracks that attention. A lot easier to score when they have to focus on the other two huge all stars on the team. They can't guard nobody though. Like, yeah, their defense is they have allowed the most points since they've got Harden. Hey, but they're winning. Yeah. Somewhat. I mean no, they lost. I mean the Cavs sweat them. Yeah, the Cavs swept <laughs> them and they lost yesterday against that was a bad funny team. As fuck. Yeah, Colin Sexton versus KD is one of the best. <laughs> I watched, best that, I watched that whole game live and I just couldn't believe like Colin Sexton happened. was like crazy. <laughs> One of the he best battles ever. Everybody, yeah, like bro. KD, Harden, Kyrie, everybody. Say, he didn't miss. He I'm made like say, five, six in a row. Bring that ass over here. The young bull. So yeah, all star, all star voting clearly has not been defined yet. It's clearly like underway. There's no, we have no reason to expect any of these people to win full out yet, right? Like I get, like from what I hear around the league is that it's between Joel Embiid and LeBron right now. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it leans LeBron, but there's still like so much room left to improve on a lot of these teams and a lot of room to fall for a lot of these teams i guess we'll see later on but it's it's definitely exciting to see these many players play so well yeah, yeah. if they give Embiid the mvp i would be so upset i mean if, upset? I, I feel like if lebron it. i feel like if lebron leads the lakers to first seed they would give it to him seeing what he's doing yeah i think yeah. so too so Here hopefully he, that that's what happens especially seeing ad take like a back step when we expect him to take a step forward not yeah it's just like lebron <laughs> is not there yet but he's still like on his shit you know he's still MG, on his bro. king shit he's not his body feels amazing and then there's no reason to get on lebron's way ad had a great game yesterday though he had go to lebron lebron had a near triple double with 29 points 27 points but ad had like 35 points yeah, lebron had, lebron always gets his like nine rebounds and like yeah. first lebron always gets his, his cool little 28 8 and 8 <laughs> like it's crazy that's man. his <laughs> career <laughs> average yeah the lebron stat line yeah i think i had predicted uh before like the season started i don't know if we had got it in the episode but just like talking in the our, our group chat i had predicted that what we're gonna be lebron's season you know i mean stats going in this year because you know it's year 18 i thought it was going to be like 20 i thought his assists were going to go uh like to 10 or higher i thought it was going to be like 24 yeah and then too. and then like 12 assists and then you know his seven eight rebounds <laughs> yeah. but this man is still like Drug 27 him, 26 points he's still oh, the, 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 the no he's like, averaging 25 he's, i believe the man really is six eight but he looks like he's nine feet tall every time he steps on the court he's yeah. just so dominant everyone's attracted to him he's like he's just gravity on the floor he's a freaking everyone's nature. just attracted to him and we talk about him so much because we gotta give him his flowers man we're watching we were yeah. watching him you know right now 18th year who knows how much longer we can watch him. Brother, so we're gonna bro, give him his flowers every we're time seeing greatness i cannot imagine watching basketball with the lebron being there yeah it's gonna be it's gonna also be a very uh funny mo moment in basketball when lebron pulls up in a season ball like imagine that <laughs> like lebron you waiting ball. that time bro you wouldn't have hey you yeah would lebron never. james in the yeah. 22 season that dude, ball now. <laughs> that dude does not care about the <laughs> about the, the memes hair. and the jokes bro no he doesn't care about the memes and the jokes he's gonna keep getting hair treatment yeah yeah 100 yeah. he spends a lot of money a lot yeah. of those millions go to yeah. that hair yeah 100 but yeah bro it's funny so hopefully lebron wins the mvp